Hello, 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 and welcome to another video here with Leeds United in this Football Manager channel that we do everything Football Manager related. Since you were last with us, we won that beautiful game against Juventus with a nice two goals from Vitinha, and then we followed that up with a loss to Manchester City in the Premier League. Our Premier League form is not that great. We're currently 10th in the Premier League, so that's something we're going to have to remedy. Uh, today we are going to be taking on Burnley and then follow that by Arsenal. For the Burnley match in the Carabao Cup fourth round, we are going to be resting as many players as possible. We have had back-to-back -back matches and our guys are not looking that fresh. So let's get stuck in. So we have decided to line up the following team. We've got Karius in goal, back four of Reglan, Creswell, Godfrey and Shackleton. The midfield is going to be marshalled by four, Shaw, Barkley and Bogus. Up on the right hand side, we've got Rafinha on the left, Demir, and up front, Jalhart is getting a run out to see what he can do this season. Obviously, last season he spent half of it on loan, he performed quite well, and this season he hasn't had much of a run out. We want to see if this boy can develop into something special for us, so let's give him some game time and let's get into this match. We are the home team for this match up against Burnley in the Carabao Cup, and we are hoping to did have a better cup run than last season. Last season were, we were a shambles in the cups. Obviously that, that made us perform better in the Premier League as we only had the Premier League to worry about. But we would like to have a little bit of a run out in the Carabao Cup. So let's see if our youngsters can turn up today and uh, get a result for us. So far we've been performing quite well in the cups. Uh, obviously the Champions League is the, the one stand out. We're currently second in our group. And uh, Jalhart there with the ball with a nod on and uh, no one following up. The flick on from Jalhart. Poe picks it up and uh, deep punt into our half. Obviously, we don't we don't have the strongest team out there today, so our youngsters are going to have to have a good game. There's no one really with experience other than Barkley and if one or two others like uh, Regulon, but we do have a lot of potential in our youth. And here's Bogus to show us what kind of potential we have, and what a cracker of a shot in that first shot there. Blasts it into the back of the net. And we go 1-0 up. Beautiful goal. Bogus is one talent that I'd like to develop. Jalhat's another. They are homegrown talents. And uh, they can turn into something quite special if we just give them more game time. And look at that goal. The two youngsters combining for the first goal in the first five minutes of the match. And let's have more of the same, boys. First shot, first goal. Shackleton now with the ball down the right-hand side. Yeah, to Bogus. Can Shackleton find a good cross? Shackleton playing as our right back today. Obviously, he can play in the midfield as well. And he, his versatility helps us a lot in our squad. He's still young. He can still develop. And the fact that he can play in multiple roles gives him enough game time to, to get the development under wraps. Here's Shackleton going to pick up the ball. Well done with Godfrey. Godfrey had a good season last season. It's a pity that he's uh, been dropped in the starting lineup with our strongest team because of our new signing of our new centre-back Ahmed Hodzic and Karius another one who we got from as a free from Liverpool I'm surprised I let him go so easily he is a solid backup for Bislia good ball Jalhot reacting slowly there he could have been through with a nice through ball from uh, Demir Demir another wonder kid a youngster in our squad who I'm hoping that will kick on and develop the season and uh, try to secure that, that position that he plays in, in the left-hand side. We still have Rafinha, who's playing down the right today. We haven't seen much of him in this match. Hopefully, Bogus can find him here. There we go. Nice ball over the top for Shackleton. He'll probably pull back. And he finds Demir. Oh, nice header on the far post. And Pope up for that one. Here we go. And Bernie on the attack now down the left-hand side. With McNeil pulling it back to their left back. Down to Taylor. McNeil again. He's going to try and find a cross. Nope. They're just playing with the ball. And deep cross. Easy save for Karius. They're not going to challenge us if they keep on pushing like that. They need to come up with something more creative if they're going to get past our, our lineup here. Yes, we might have a few youngsters. Oh, that was just wide. And uh, Regulon was offside. Could have been 2-0 there. We've got a solid formation. A solid team. We need to kick on from this and uh, start getting results, especially in the Premier League, which I'm a little bit disappointed about after last season's heroics. Burnley's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with us now with uh, shots 
on goal. We're going to have to turn things around in the second half if we're going to secure this victory. Only four shots for the whole half. I'm a bit disappointed with that. We could have done better. And let's get back into the second half. We're, we're going to be looking at a one or two substitutions. Rafinha's not fully fit. Neither is Shackleton. They're probably going to be dropping off in the second half. Hopefully we can get another goal then before that. Just so that we can secure this this lead that we have. We need to do more with this. We need to develop. Yeah, it's regular on down the left-hand side with Barkley. Barkley to Demir. What's he going to do with it? The youngster back to Regulon for sure. Ah, easy enough shot. Not too much power on it. And uh, Pope makes an easy save there. Now with the corner down the right-hand side for Rafinha. Can we make this 2-0? Oh, off the post. Godfrey, unlucky. Unlucky. At least we're looking a little bit more lively now in the second half. Creswell finding the ball here down deep to Godfrey. Shackleton, the good team are performing well, combining well. Can Rafinha find a good telling cross? He finds Bogus, who scored the first goal with a strong shot. Back to Rafinha. We're just moving the ball around. We're not just we're not really being incisive with our passing or Yeah, just get the ball in the box. Let's see. Jalhart, nice header, and the mirror gets a nice follow-up tap in. Should have been a Jalhart goal. He didn't make the most of it. And uh, Demir said, I'll take that. Open net and he makes it count. 2 0. And this one is in the bag. There we go. Get stuck in there, Demir. Exactly what we're looking for. And coming into the 65th minute here, we're going to be looking at doing a, a few substitutions after this free kick. Lucas Paisan now playing for Burnley. If those of you remember, he used to be a youth team player for Chelsea. And now he's obviously moved on in his career and uh, landed himself in the Burnley squad. Rafinha is going to be dropped. I'm most likely going to be giving Max Dean his first run out. He's a youngster, still developing. It's not that bad, but he's also not that good. He's not good enough to start in the Premier League, but he is good enough to get the occasional substitution role. Um, also, Shackleton was shattered. And I do have Luke Ayling coming back from injury. So let's give him a run out. And then the last substitution will leave till after the 70th minute, depending on who gets tied first. We'll be back to the next substitution after this highlight. Yeah, Demir picks up the ball. Barkley, who's had a quite a quiet game. I've had him in other saves where he's a monster in the Nazala role. But today, he's playing the box-to-box -box role as uh, Bogus was not the better option of the two for the box-to-box -box role. Obviously, the box-to-box -box has to be more composed on the ball. And that was a bad pass there from Bogus. Straight to the opposition. And hopefully we don't get punished by this. There we go. Ailing picks up the ball to Bogus. Now Maxine, the first showing of him. Gets the ball up to Jalhart. Boys are performing well. Dean up to Jalhart again. Oh, and Jalhart. <laughs> Taking the snapshot, but right into the defense of Burnley. I'm going to move uh, Regulon into that box-to-box -box role. Putting Timon... Giving him a match out as he hasn't had much game time. Barkley is super tired. Um, I would have not liked to have given him 90 minutes under the belt. But unfortunately, he just uh, didn't have, have it in him for this match. And he has a first corner kick from Burnley. And nothing came out of it. I do believe that guy who just kicked the ball is a Manchester United youngster. Um, I'm not sure if Burnley have bought him. Weghorst. I'm not even know how to pronounce it properly, but um, yeah, it's his first shot, first highlight of the game. Vidra is not a bad player either, although he is a Burnley player. He's not good enough for the top of the Premier League. And he has Lucas Paisan at the back post, picking the ball up. And nothing comes of it with Karras safe hands there. We can do another substitution, apparently. This is the cup. And we're going to be giving Harrison another run out. That's going to be it for our substitutions for this match. Four in total. Last five minutes goes to Harrison down the left hand side. Godfrey with the ball down the back here with Aileen. Can he get comp can he get match fit again after his recent injury crisis? Kairos with a deep ball upfield and gave him the ball away to Burnley. Easily taken away there. Now a deep ball from Burnley. And we just seem to be playing tennis instead of soccer here. Bogus, what can you do with the ball? Dean, well done to Jalhart. And they've been promising. Was Jalhart on side? I do hope so. That was a good clean goal.
Ojala deserves a goal in this match. Dean with a beautiful through ball there. And the goal stands. And it's 3-0 in this Carabao Cup. Dean has been promising with a few balls. And Hyai gets first time ball up to Jalhat. And Jalhat is through. And the three youngsters combining. That's promising signs for Leeds United in the future. He has Bogus, who's got a goal this game. He has Dean with a beautiful assist in this match. And uh, Jalhard with a tidy finish at the end. And we go 3 0 up in this Carabao Cup match. Now it's just about putting this game to bed, holding the clean sheet, making sure we don't concede. And uh, if they make another mistake, maybe get another goal late on. I don't foresee us getting another goal. He has Harrison, though, down the left hand side in a promising position. Can he find Regulon? He does. Back to Harrison, crosses, and Jalhot. Did you see that finish? A tidy finish with a little back heel, a little flick from Jalhot. Harrison, beautiful cross in. And what a goal for the fourth goal of the match. Let's have a look at it one more time. Harrison pulls it back to Regulon. Regulon, through ball to Harrison, and Harrison, tidy cross. Back heel by Jalhot. Let's get stuck in, boys. It's exactly what we were looking for. And more of the same, please. That should be it for the match, 4-0. Let's just keep this clean sheet right at the end here. Let's not concede. It would be a disappointment to concede at this point. And we don't. Good clearance, Harrison now, and uh, there's a full-time whistle. Well done. More of the same. Here's confirmation of our next tie in the Carabao Cup. We are into the quarterfinals straight away against Everton. So let's see how that match goes later on. Up next, we do have Arsenal. And let's see what team we're going to be picking for that match. So we currently find ourselves in 14th place in the Premier League with mostly two games in hand above all the players, all the teams above us. We're the only team in the Premier League with only played eight games. So we need to start our turnaround now and start moving up this table. The team we've decided to go with today is goalkeeper of Meslia, back four of Pellegrini, Inacio, Godfrey and Pembele. Phillips, Nunes and Eriksen will be handling the midfield. Up right on the right hand side, Madweke, Torres down the left and Viting, uh, our tally man up front, is going to be leading the line against Arsenal in this important Premier League match. Let's get stuck in. Arsenal seems to have put out a very strong team against us in this Premier League match. Let's just have a look at their lineup quickly. They've gone with the goalkeeper of Ramsdale, back four of Tierney, Gabriel, White and Timasu, Lokongo and yeah, sorry I was a bit slow then. This is confirmation of our standings, Arsenal currently in 6th position, we are 14th, can we start turning things around in this Premier League title this season? We need to start doing some business in the Premier League right now and let's see how our boys perform in this match. We have put out our strongest lineup, with the exception perhaps of Pembele who, who might have one or two challenges for his role at the right back position. Godfrey also, Ahmed Hodzic normally takes that position, but he's currently injured. And Godfrey did perform well last season in the Premier League. So let's see if we can turn another victory around on Arsenal. Arsenal matches were exciting last season with end-to-end -end stuff. And I think we did capture one of, the win one of the games. I think it was the away game as a victory. Today we are ho at home in front of our home fans. And we they are expecting a performance from us. Odegaard, Gwendouzi, Saka. I mean, these are all top quality players in the Arsenal lineup. Gwendouzi again. Odegaard. Our team doesn't seem to be pressing too much early on. Martinelli, who had beautiful shots last season against us. And we have to do better with five minutes in. We haven't had a shot on target as yet. And there we go. Things have changed around. Two shots, two on target. Here we have the ball in our own half with Pellegrini. Inasio picking it up. Phillips in that deep line play, make a roll. Let's see if he can pull, a, pull the strings in this match. Pellegrini. We need to try and find Vitinha and put him through on goal if we're going to have a good chance in this game. Madwick has got some decent pace on this right hand side. Can he find a cross? He does. And Vitinha unfortunately wasn't able to apply the finish there. Something for the Arsenal fans to think about and the Arsenal team with Madwick's pace on that right hand side turning nothing into something in the matter of a split second. Madweke now again. What can he do? Finds Nunes, who's been stellar this season. Inacio, the, the Portuguese combination there. Nunes, Pellegrini. Find a good cross. He does to Vitinha. Penalty ref. He looked like he got pushed from behind there, Vitinha. And I think this is going to be an easy penalty.
It is. And there's the first opportunity for us. Ericsson stepping up to, for the penalty as a penalty taker. He is our best penalty taker in this team. And this should be a tidy finish. Unfortunately, Ramsdale picks up a quality save. Ericsson with the corner now. Inacio couldn't get his head on it. And uh, let's hope that that doesn't come back to bite us. To be honest, I know Ericsson is getting on in age, but I was expecting a little bit more from him this season. His stats are still quality. Yes, I know the Mazzala role might not be the best one for him because he doesn't necessarily have the legs anymore. But he's still got the quality in his stats, and I was expecting a goal there. Obviously, in real life, he did uh, collapse during that one match, and this is uh, almost conceding a goal there. This is the aftermath of that. We have picked him up from the team he joined in the Premier League on a free as his contract ran out. And it was quite a coup for us in, in the off-season. Now we just have to take it on and uh, get in some match practice, some match time, and hope he can regain some of that form that he showed us in Tottenham Colours and Inter Milan. Arsenal wanting the victory here. And it's going to be down to who wants the three points more at the end of the day. We are both attacking teams. We're both going to take it to the opposition. And here's Maruweka. Can he use his pace now? Oh, he does. He uses some trickery to try, try and get away from the Congo. Vitinga now behind the defense. Can he finish it? And the defender gets back in time to stifle that attack. Still can't believe we missed that penalty. We should be 1-0 up now. And we have to make our chances count. It's, it's been the storyline of this season so far of not capitalizing on the opportunities we have. I mean, we could have beat Bayern Munich in the Champions League. We just didn't take our chances. We could have beaten one or two other players in the Premier League thus, thus far. We didn't. Inasso now with Phillips. Can Eriksen find a through ball? He does. Can he finish? Pembele, find a cross boy. He does. And, yeah, deflection. And it comes to nothing. That one-two between Eriksen and Vitinha did seem a bit promising. But it all came to nothing with Madweke blasting the ball wide now. And we, I don't know what to do. Maybe one of, one of you guys are struggling in your saves on, in Football Manager and maybe you guys can help me out. We just aren't applying the finishing at the end. I have tried to mix things up in the training to focus more on second movement and final third of the field. And still nothing has changed pretty much. Yes, we are getting like the previous game. We are performing against the lower teams but against the top teams like Arsenal, Manchester United, Manchester City Liverpool, Tottenham those kind of teams we just aren't finishing and our defence is leaky, I mean you saw the game against uh, Juventus where we performed out of our skins in the second third so we attacked brilliantly, got four goals but Juventus got three of their own and we were lucky not to have drawn that game Here is Arsenal now in the middle of the field, in our half of the field. And they are pushing the ball nicely, slowing down the tempo. Pembele is probably going to come off in the second half now for Shackleton. Ferran Torres has also been super quiet and hasn't been doing much damage down this left-hand side of the Leeds United midfield. Oh, Nunes looking to put some determination in there and running past... Uh, the Arsenal players with ease but just couldn't apply the finish Ferran Torres on a yellow card Pellegrini on a yellow card and we have to keep an eye on that down this left hand side it's probably due to the pace of Saka and uh, probably, probably caught us out once or twice there wasn't a highlight on those occasions so I'm not sure Inacio now picking up the ball to Ferran Torres Nunes a uh, bad ball there by Nunes and that comes to nothing Saka now through on goal and uh, luckily he pulled it back and that goes wide highlight of the highlight of us not doing what we need to do and hopefully this can become a goal here for us nope Arsenal pick up the ball easily and another chance goes a begging Pimbele is not having the best of games Ferran Torres is also not having the best of games I'm going to be taking the two of them off very soon and hopefully the replacements can inject some pace and some hunger into the side so that we can take this to Arsenal. 
Let's not concede. Yeah, we'll suck it down the right-hand side. Yeah, crossing the ball with a good opportunity to finish, but Mesle pulls up the good save, and luckily our defense clears the ball. Eriksen, can he pack his free kick to make up for the penalty? He can't. Right against the wall. And another chance goes a begging. He has another corner here from Eriksen. Tries to find Godfrey, and he finds him. And we find our first opening goal. 1-0. Eriksen making up for his missed penalty with a good assist. And Godfrey saying, let's step up. Let's show why he deserves a position in the starting lineup ahead of Amatozic. And that is a good, tidy header from the central defender. Just going to quickly do some substitutions now. I'm going to be putting on Harrison, who came on, in this, on the second half of the previous match and found an assist on that left-hand side. I'm also going to be giving Pellegrini, no, Pembele, a rest and giving Shackleton another run out on that right-hand side in the centre-back position. And the last change that we're going to be doing will be kept for after the 70th minute, as usual. If Itinga continues to not perform well, I might just bring Jalhot after the 17th minutes just to give him a run out and see if he can do it in the Premier League like he did in the Cup. Getinga is looking rather tired. We do have another match in two days' time and resting him won't be a bad option off the post and Eriksson is looking lively. He could have had a goal and an assist in this match. My assistant manager is recommending we bring on Demir as the striker but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give Jalhart a run out. The youngster who performed so well in the last game with two assists and let's just preserve it in his legs, make sure he doesn't get injured. And let's hope he can pick up a few more goals in the Premier League. And there we go. <laughs> Almost an instant replay of the previous goal with Eriksen. With another corner and Inacio this time saying, I also want a piece of action. And getting the second goal for Arsenal, uh, for Leeds United, sorry. And we go 2-0 up. Beautiful thunderous header there. No chance. The goalkeeper didn't even move. It was that hard. And we go to no up, which should secure this match. The fresh legs that we have on the pitch should also just sturdy things up. Can Jalhart and Shackleton combine here in the Premier League? Ooh, no, no. <laughs> How did the defender get there before him? That was a beautiful pullback from Shackleton, and he's looking lively. And um, we're going to see more and more of him in this Premier League. Yes, we do have Dallas. He's currently injured as well. And uh, Saka, beautiful save by Meslia showing some of the class he showed us last season and this is the start of the comeback in the Premier League we are now going to get a very very useful three points in this match and oh Nunes come on boys make it count Ramsdale we are finding the ball in dangerous positions we just are not able to finish it at this stage in time Ericsson with another corner Inacio again, and Ramsdale this time says, I'm going to keep the ball safe. We are looking good. 19 shots in this game compared to Arsenal's 10, and 10 on target for us compared to Arsenal's 2. Our defense has been solid, our attack has been deadly, and uh, luckily the two defenders stepped up with two beautiful headers from set pieces, and we take it due to that. Jalho just doesn't have the pace on him, and that's one of the things I noticed in the previous match. He doesn't move early. He, he seems to have delayed a reaction. Smadweke there, trying to capitalize on Tierney's uh, tired legs. And that should be it for the match. 2-0 to Arsenal. Back to Leeds United, sorry. Shackleton just keeping things tidy at the back. What was Inasio doing? <laughs> Luckily, Godfrey could pick that one up. But like a little back flick there between two of the Arsenal attackers. I mean, you're asking for trouble there. That could have quite easily gone astray and they could have pulled one back there. Okay, well done. What a video, what a match. That's six points for this match. A win in the Carabao Cup, a win in the Premier League. And we need to now start building on the momentum that we have created here. Let's just see confirmation of that. We, that one brings us up into ninth position. Tidy three points for us. And when we get back with you guys in the next video, we are going to be taking on two Premier League matches which will be the Crystal Palace away game and the Everton away game guys if you made it to the part of the video thank you so much we do appreciate you remember to like the button if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this football manager content and I'll see you yes all of you in the next video guys cheers